Well, you don't have to have that worry if you go to Legends. But anyway, that's just me, West wishful thinking, thinking for me. But I wish John Favreau could see that. It seems like he sees a part of that. He knows there's a base here that he wants to pull in of viewers. He loves these. He, he wants to, from what I've heard, he seems to be, you know, wanting to get those hardcore fans back in to the fandom. But at the same time, I don't know if anyone ever, and this is so weird, I don't know if anyone at Lucasfilm really understands the EU fan. And we've been crystal clear since almost day one what we want. I mean, heck, what? Three billboards. Come on. <laughs> you know, what's the problem if they do something like it? I mean, in my mind, in some way, I'm thankful that they're not touching the, e the EU anymore. Because if they did, you would see the same things you see in the in official canon yeah and so, that's that yeah Luke, that's I the old republic thing. series for example mm -hmm. now i don't want anything like that even though in my mind in a perfect world i would love to see it all but if they did it it will be infested with identity politics you, you don't want you don't want pando uh, clone troopers no not at all no <laughs> you, you, know, you know i mean for example they want to do an old republic series i've heard that they want to make a uh, female yeah. black trans rebel. Who wants that? Who know in his right mind wants that? That's why I'm not. That's why I don't want them to touch it. In a way, if you understand what I mean, I would love it. In a perfect world that they continued it and made an Yuzhan Vong game, like uh, right. Leash, for example. Imagine playing Luke Skywalker, being overpowered like Starkiller is in the Force Unleashed against the Yuzhan Vong. I always want a game like that. That'd be example. awesome. I mean, it's, it's just one of the things where they, I, I think that if they, if they did do it, if they did continue it, it would have to be the, um, the old school people who basically tended the story. Uh, the reason I, I, I have a, a little bit of optimism in this is because Marvel uh, created issue 108, which was a Legends comic book that yeah. not only continued the old Legends series, but, and I did an interview with Matthew Rosenberg, who wrote the comic book. Everyone at Marvel are huge Expanded Universe fans. So they wanted to make sure, they knew they had an opportunity to please those old Marvel fans, but they also wanted to please Expanded Universe fans. And they fit in, I mean, this, this, this comic book <laughs> far exceeded my expectations because they started fitting in uh, a few retcon, retcons. They started adding a little uh, Easter eggs for EU fans. And they did it on purpose because they've read all those old books and comic books. And they're like, we want to make something that's good for them. That's exactly what he told me. And so to hear that, not, not Disney, but Marvel, the people who took a hold of that, did a great job, didn't mess up anything. Matthew Rosenberg didn't put any identity politics in there. He wanted it to stay true to what that old story stood for. And it went well. My idea is that I think there's people at Del Rey who would be the same way. You, and by the way, you and hopefully you'd want to get those old writers because they're familiar with that universe and they can write into it like Statpole, James Lucino, you know, even uh, John Jackson Miller, who I'm 50 50 on, but he did a great Obi Wan uh, novel. And uh, so you could get some of these people, Drew Carpishan, who did the Darth Bane trilogy, which is really awesome, awesome. and bring them back in and really. Uh, probably stay true. So I, I, I think they'd be, I, I, I am the optimist saying they would stay true to it. I don't think those regular Lucasfilm you see now, they don't care about the legend storyline. They care about their storyline and they don't care about anything else. So they would let probably some of these authors and like they did with Marvel, they let Marvel do the story. Um, according to Matthew Rosenberg, they didn't really care that much about it because it wasn't canon. So they're like, yeah, whatever, you know, but it turned out being a great story. So if they, if they, if the story group does this and washes their hands of legend stories and we have another, we have the Del Rey, we have Marvel holding onto those stories and moving forward. I feel a little bit more positive, but you are correct. It could be that they want to, that they want to put in all their politics in there. That's why I'm proud that legends didn't have any of that. It was just there. It was unbiased so that anyone from any culture, race, religion, gender, everyone could enjoy it. Everyone yeah. can enjoy it. It, it, it. it made baby steps. I mean, some people 
poke fun at it because it wouldn't go one way or the other. But the thing is, I mean, Michael Jordan's a huge basketball player. Michael Jordan says, hey, why do I not get political? Because Republicans buy shoes, too. <laughs> I mean, that's the case, because you, you, if, you, if you walk the line, you say, I'm not going to get that's not what I, we're here for. We're not he here to make a political statement. We're here to provide entertainment. If you provide entertainment and entertainment, a release from all the things going on around the world, that's a good key for success. Definitely. I mean, take a look at the fan projects that, it, that they've made. You have, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, anyway, you have two channels on YouTube, for example, that are making EU-based um, cinematics with CGI of their own, homemade stuff. For example, Loacher, that's what the channel name is. He made an old, old Star Wars The Old Republic a cinematic, like five or six minutes long, with Old Republic troopers versus Sith troopers, like a short and when I see stuff like that, basically, if EU fans could get, could get a hold of the EU and the rights to it, it will be all right. The fans are basically keeping Star Wars alive, especially the expanded universe. There's a lot of great content. You have the Thrawn Trilogy animated version, if you've seen that. I can send it to you if you haven't already. For example, you have someone making Dark Empire in an animated version as well. And it's all fans. So if, if fans could get a hold of the EU and the rights to it in order to continue the story, along with some of the old writers, it could work definitely because we're not interested in anyone's politics. I don't want my politics. I don't want yours. I want Star Wars to be what it was, entertainment yeah. and for everyone. Yeah. And then I, I think it, it, could, it, <clears throat> it could work then. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well said.